Yes, my YouTube family, welcome, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let us talk, let us have a little discussion. So this is my little discussion. This is, you know, loneliness, sadness. Sometimes it feel like you, sometimes you feel like all hopes is gone. You know, and no hope at all, no hopes, no hopes. You feel like everything gone. When it seems like all hope is gone, you don't, you want to give up. Jesus still be there, all right? There's the reason we worry. The reason that we worry because we have lack of faith. We don't have enough faith. So we worry about everything. But if we just leave all to Jesus. For those who doesn't need, meet Jesus yet. When I say meet Jesus. Like give your heart to him. And really have this close relationship with him. It's kind of hard. Right? They say what Beth Brown. They say yeah man. Before I was a, become a Christian, I didn't have this hope that I have now. First time I worried about everything, the least little thing caused me to worry. If me find myself need want this or need that and can't me worry about it. No, I don't worry about anything. If I find myself with one cent, I give God thanks. If I find myself without a dollar, me still get up and give God thanks. Eat and drink, see and we give God thanks. If a source of food, me have to eat, me eat and give God thanks. If I took crackers, me have to eat, me eat and give God thanks, you know? So we have to learn to satisfy with whatever we have and be content. That is it. Be content. So I try to be as content as I can with whatever I have and be grateful and thankful unto God, right? Because sometimes... It's, you know, I met someone today and my heart hurt within me because that young man grew up, you have to say in my hand, you know, from a little boy until he come big you now and eventually lose it in gun. When me say gun, it's like, you know, understand not what they go on in our world again. In just a talk to himself, a talk to himself, you know. Me go and talk to him and he no understand nothing what me saying and me feel so sad and you know about it. It's just like in lose you know sometimes when you don't know the man Christ Jesus and you go through some problem, you know if he deal with it, well that happened to him. It seemed like he gone, you know, me talk to him and he they tell me in the talk to him what a nonsense in the say, you understand? And after me left him in this did they talk, talk, talk to himself and they laugh like in talking with someone. So sad. And many people go through this, go through depression and so on, and then have nobody for really sit down and reason with. So you send them into a mad state. So I'm so sorry for him. And many others are like that, you know? Because going through problem, don't know to face the problem, don't know to, to pray and leave it to God, then just take it up and, and when you take up all the problem on your head and think about it, that go happen, you know? You go lose out and you go get mad. So all who facing problem and you feel, say, why? Me can't bother. Take your problem to Jesus, all right? He's the best problem solver. God is able. God is available. So you just have to step out in faith. Hope is in King Jesus, all right? So when you're going through a problem, remember, say, God is always available. He said he will never leave us nor forsake us. And we have to just step out in faith because... The devil like when we halt. So the devil like when we halt and each up in our corner and give up. That's what he want in plain power. We mine and then in control. We and then well, we are mad people upon the road. So Satan happy about that. But make we just step out in faith because hope is only in King Jesus. We have hope. Not true. Uh, from this life, there's hope. Never you give up. Just put your problem before the Almighty God and He will try to solve it for you. Sometimes we feel lonely, we feel left out, we feel sad. Because we live at home with the family and we're lonely, not true? Because the, 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 what you call it now, the time what you are living in, uh, knowledge increase. As God when said, the Bible said, knowledge will go be increased. Man go be wise and smart and, and that happened in the last year so through that now all the technology so the young people them have no time to say sit down and reason with us or anything like that. They feed them time after them 
phone and tablets and technology up and then have no time. So you're there with the family or something, you will want to sit down and reason about one little problem you go through and so but you don't have nobody for reason with because you're in the house with them, but they don't have time for you, they mean for them corner they you have a son deal with for them technology business in a them WhatsApp in a them Facebook and so they don't have no time for you and you call them uh, me they pan TikTok me they listen something, me they watch something, they don't have no time for you. So we just know say, like me, Bev Brown, me know if it deal with it. Me try to adjust myself to everything. Alright, so me don't know we go say me is a lonely person. All around my family, I'm lonely. So what I do, I take Jesus as my best friend. So me sit down and talk with Jesus and read with Jesus as me tell you all the while. You understand? So me try to solve that problem. Yeah, me try to solve that problem with God help. Me sit down read with Jesus. Most time I'm alone is there. So me tell me say, say me and Jesus is there. So me sit down and read with Jesus. Show him everything I may go through. Me just talk to Jesus. I come here talk to you know. And so me talk to him. Me say, me, me say, Father, you know, see, say, so and so and so. You know, me sit down and reason, reason it out. Sometimes then me, me hear me talking and say, Mommy, who are you talking? Me say, me and Jesus. Yeah. And when me one day at home, me sit down and reason. People might hear me passing as me live a roadside and hear me talking and things say, me and somebody in the house talking. And me and Jesus. So we have to just make Jesus as the best friend. Anything they bother we, we talk it out low to Jesus. Or we talk it in our mind or whatever we want to do. But no, say Jesus is always there. Remember to like my video, share my video. For those who haven't subscribed, please do so. Hope this little talk helps someone, you know. Make we talk, man. Make we talk. Talk about things then. Just comment, comment, please. Thumbs up and comment. Blessings. Peace out. Love you guys.